Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. This is the legendary Iron Man run. My name is Saiken and we're trying to beat the game with only one soldier permission. It's month number 8, 9, October it is. Uh, so pretty late in the game already or we're entering late game. It's time to uh, rescue Dr. Lucas Langer. And who else could be more suited to, to do that than our trusted Reaper? She's a colonel by now, still doesn't have a proper um, equipment, but she now has um, one item, which will be blue screen rounds, so that will help her to deal way more efficiently with uh, robotic units. And we're going to see how difficult this rescue mission is going to be. The last rescue mission wasn't difficult at all. We could get an engineer plus a lot of intel and frankly 100 intel is nothing to uh, to sneeze at. We could use that very very well. And there we go. Extraction. And if I'm not mistaken, there was kind of a building here. Yeah, okay. The cell is located here. We could blow up this wall right over here. Essentially open the cell and double move out. Yeah, I think that would be a good idea. Okay, let's just not mess up the cover piece. Just double checking downstairs if any of these fields here are taken by civilians. Doesn't seem to be like that. Fast little double movement, thanks to our increased speed. As long as she's in concealment, we can actually move relatively fast. Nothing. It sounds like it's sector pod. They have a patrol moving here. No. Aliens use this to defeat most of Earth's heavy conventional forces. It can punch through armor just Ooh, as it is a sector pod. Ooh. Told you we're entering late game, boys. We're being detected here, we're dead. It's that simple. I'm at your service. Luckily for us, no one seems to be home. Moving out. There's an alien patrol nearby. Never mind. I go where you tell me. Let's hide in the corner and hope that they will move away. Well, the sector port wants to make sure that everyone is safe and secure.
Okay, so... Uh, not hundred percent convinced that these guys are effectively going to leave. Watching comes naturally. Probably just going to focus in on us and move into our direction. Yes, because coincidentally, they knew they, uh, that we were here. Let's remote start a car. And I hope this is going to create the attention. So they clearly can't move up the stairs. Let's see if this here is going to grab their attention. Nope. Casually strolling. One, one, two, three. All right. This here is the sector port, by the way. Ooh. Shouldn't do that because elsewise the sector pod is just going to move up and scout us out. Yeah, they are not moving, which means we can't free the VIP. Things big time, but it's impossible to break uh, the defense sometimes. If I would have uh, opened the, uh, if I would have opened the gate, that would have meant uh, I would have been discovered. Discovery means I cannot restart them the same round. Plus, we only have one action. So that offers the other alternative to let yourself be discovered while standing right next to it. Besides that being a very foolish and, uh, and aggressive plan. It doesn't solve your main problem because your VIP will not have stealth. So once you're discovered, even if you, let's say, can open the door and then somehow restealth, you are still in a really bad situation because your VIP will not be able to get out.
Yeah, lamentable. I really would have wanted to get another engineer. And the 100 Intel would have helped us a lot as well. Well, you know, let's build a power relay here. That way we fix our power problems. And then we're just going to excavate with two instead of three people. Shadow chamber is something that we need to build next. Damn, Dark Tower got wounded. Double Agent is a good one, means we have a chance for an extra soldier. Okay, let's see what else we can do. So, uh, reduce avatar progress with a promotion, that's great. Lots of dodge, another avatar project uh, reduction plus mobility, <laughs> and another one. The game really thinks uh, that we're in dire straits. So we do have 12 days. I would want to use uh, the avatar pro project reduction. Oh, there is a high chance for an ambush. No, 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 no. If there is a high chance for an ambush, might as well take Roby with him. We still want to get the mobility. That's good. We still want to reduce uh, the project. That's good as well. So, makes sense. The, the others also have a moderate chance for an ambush. Good. I think that's the right decision because knocking off four bubs, uh, bubbles of the Avatar project would be huge. Who is, oh, an engineer is wounded for 21 days. Good, let's continue. Look at that, 131 Elerium. Just double checking it, we still have, we still have the interest in Elerium, right? I mean, as long as it sells for so much, might as well go for it. Two, 2,600 
90 uh, supplies might look like a lot, but if we do the upgrades, it is not as much as it Another looks like. Okay, so 260 supplies, and we, we really don't want the um, extra chrysalids permission. Apparently there are many, many mechanical units in this mission. And I think we might even have a, have a correct chance with her. And the blue screen rounds. The stable is very difficult, so probably not. But you never know. I mean... Maybe we can score a couple of kills. And there we go. We can't make it happen here. That's no problem at all. We don't need experience. It's just a matter of essentially getting things done. Alright, so we got a Spectre and we got a Codex. If we play our cards right, we can kill both. Start with the codex. We could also get some um, AP out of it, as long as we're attacking in. Stealth. There is a high chance that we get a piece out of it. There can be no mercy. One of many. There we go, flanking shot. Cover me, I'm reloading. I will go. Not sure if we can do the entire mission? Probably not. I'm at your service. Oh, someone is standing right behind it and that someone is playing a dirty game There's the objective. because if we were to move just one field closer uh, we would be in line of sight luckily for us We can hack the chest. Oh, 
Recover some supplies, maybe? Nope. But we countered the dark event. And next turn, we can re stealth. Okay, never mind. Next turn, we're going to get out of here. I really don't want to fight her. The only positive news is now that she's appearing here, she can't appear on the next two missions, and there's only a 50% chance that she's going to appear in the third mission from now on. Okay, so now is the time to leave. Move in. See you later, suckers. Good. We counted the dark event. So no chrysalids. And we even killed three enemies. I think overall, okay. Could have killed more. But as soon as uh, the Chosen arrived, it was game over for us. There we go. Got a laser sight out of it. And... We counter the infestation dark event, which is good because that means no chrysalids. Okay, let's go and get intel. You certainly need the Avatar progress reduction. We're going to slow them down. We'll need to move fast. I was great fear across this world. All will know what life ahead. The elders never had any issues targeting civilians, and their chosen are no different. The resistance is oh my gosh. to protect their people. We can't let them down. Now that she appears more likely. It's just going to be suboptimal. Good. Mobility plus one. That's really good. Let's promote Roby. There might be an ambush here, but I think we're fine. So both of them take nine days together, which is okay. We just need to reduce the avatar progress and getting a promotion for free is a good idea. bad. That is really bad because we don't want him to get even more influence. Strategic resource located. How more how much more until we finally get our armor? Yeah. Okay. I also want to go for plasma rifles, 
just so we can theoretically get the breakthrough for the plasma weapons as well. Not a very successful month. She's probably going to train and fill her bar. We need to try our dearest to prevent this one here. Two extra blocks are not a good news. Uh, not a good news. On every mission, there is a chance that Advent units will join an XCOM squad. That's our only chance to get a second operative, so might as well use it. Oh, and we got a second, um, a second order. Yeah, that one is good. The enemy drop uh, with loot is, is also not bad. Yeah, we still don't have an Alarium core. But we do have one facility lead, so... We're fine. I just want to make sure we're having the whole Avatar project under control. So that's a dark VIP mission. We might be able to rescue him, but we're definitely able to kill him. So that should be a mission for 270 supplies. Not that we need 270 supplies like right now, but still. Maybe I can capture him for us. Ooh, our Templar is tired. Well, doesn't matter. She has to go, so let's, let's go. Might as well want to consider building an infirmary as well. As uh, our injuries still take a long time to heal. 